everyone. Amazing. So are you welcome to the Indie World Showcase uh, for November 14th, 2023 on the Nintendo Switch? About, um, not much I want to say, so let's get right into it. That's the wrong button. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We are not prepared. No, I don't want $66 on TV. All right, there we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We've got another packed showcase full of indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. Excuse me? Can you fucking do what I asked? So, without further ado, let's get into it. Apparently not. <laughs> I didn't say what game this was. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Is this just Mario Wonder? <laughs> Dante Advance. All right, interesting. Hi, I'm Matt Bozon, creative director at Way Forward. And I'm Aaron Bozon, the creator of Shantae. In 2001, we started development of a Shantae sequel for Game Boy Advance. It was never completed, but we'd always hoped that someday we could go back and finish it. Now more than 20 years later, we brought the Ugh. original development team back together to complete the lost Shantae game. Shantae Advance Risky Revolution is coming to Nintendo Switch. <sighs> And we cannot wait for you to play it. <laughs> yes, After 20 years, this long lost half genie platforming adventure is back half and ready genie. to grant a few wishes. Do you nice. have any, Andrew? I mean, obviously, I wish for Shantae's signature hair whip attack. Granted, naturally, but think bigger. Okay. How about magic dances that let me transform into different animals with unique abilities? Bigger? How about Alfred. completely rearranging stages by shifting the foreground and background to solve puzzles and find new ways to pro- Why are you... Hold on. It's being goofy. Yes. Now you're talking. Plus, for the first time in the series, up go. to four players can duke it out on the same screen in a local multiplayer battle mode. Wow, nice. I didn't even wish for that one. Embark on this once lost revolutionary adventure when Shantae Advance Risky Revolution spins onto Nintendo Switch next year. Nice. There's no snaps. Are all these games pixelated? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Terraria? I know it's not Terraria. A lot of pixel, a lot of pixel related games for this one. The underground village. Oh. Okay. Core Keeper, apparently. Interesting. Drawn towards a mysterious artifact, you find yourself stranded in an ancient cavern full of relics and wonders. Gather resources as you explore procedurally generated biomes to uncover the secrets of this long forgotten world. There are tools to craft, crops to grow, pets to hatch, bases to build, and monsters to fight during your subterranean adventure. No need to do it alone, though, as up to eight players can work together Damn. in online multiplayer to explore the underground. Customize your own character, assign skills, upgrade your tools and armor, and prepare huh. to face the titans that lie in wait. An endless cavern is ready to be explored in Core Keeper, plunging onto Nintendo Switch next summer. Nice. Jesus, that's bright.
I have no comments. <laughs> I have no comments. <laughs> I oh, know, shrimp. Is this just Zootopia? That's oh, a board game. No idea. I don't, I don't know what it is. Io sono Mauro, direttore creativo di On Your Tail. Io sono Imma, l'art director. E io sono Andrea, il produttore esecutivo del gioco. E tutti noi di Memorable Games. Oh, shit, non vediamo l'ora di accompagnarvi in un'indimenticabile avventura investigativa. Molti di noi cresciuti qui in Italia condividono bellissimi ricordi delle vacanze al mare. Per un paio di magiche settimane si viveva una vita diversa, si incontravano nuovi amici, si esploravano posti nuovi e si facevano esperienze mai provate prima. Damn, he speaks di Diana fast. in On Your Tale è ispirata a quelle esperienze, ma con un pizzico di mistero in più. Speriamo che la visita a Borgo Marina possa darvi quelle stesse sensazioni di intrigo e meraviglia. A presto! A, a seaside mystery awaits in this narrative life sim with a little bit of sleuthing mixed in. Sleuthing. As the intrepid young detective Diana explore the charming village of Borgo Marina. Hit the beach, hang out with friends, play games in the arcade, or kick nice. back and relax with some fishing. How I love when you can play games inside games. <laughs> um, isn't there a masked menace on the loose? Ah, uh, yeah, about that. Use your investigation and interrogation skills to get to the bottom of this mystery. Collecting clue cards along the way will help deduce who the menace behind the mask really is. Play your clue cards right, and you might just have a vacation you'll never forget. On Your Tail launches on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive next year. Oh, a timed console. She it's has like... lived in these woods, but it all fell apart when her brother was taken away. Oh. <laughs> the prophet was born deaf, which gives her a unique protection against this curse. Huh, okay. Many restless nights she spent to perhaps reveal the unlucky fate of her brother. Interesting art style. Very interesting art style. Cool logo too. A fairy tale world is being ravaged by the howl. A sinister plague spread through sound alone. Only a deaf prophet can find the cure and bring back peace to this realm. Use both your weapons and wits to progress in this turn-based tactical folk tale, illustrated with a living ink art style. You'll need to stay more than one step ahead. Six steps, in fact. Plan your moves in advance, predicting your enemy's actions huh. as you write your own prophecy. Plot your route carefully. Find secret paths and unlock new skills, all with the goal to save the villagers from the claws and howls of the wolves. Howl arrives on the Nintendo Switch system later today. A nice. free demo will also be available on Nintendo eShop. Cool. Oh, Jesus, it's blurry. Oh, whoa, that's cool. Oh, food. What's the point of this game? Star named Eos. Hello, okay. we're at Soul Line Studio. Our new game, The Star Name Eos, is a narrative adventure puzzle game where players use photography to explore stunning scenes. Behind every object, painting, and photograph lies fascinating stories waiting to be discovered. To highlight the difference between reality and memories, as well as capture the fleeting essence of time itself, we chose photography as our game's theme. 
We wanted to use a more intimate and heartfelt interactive experience to convey the personal emotions and struggles that are buried deep within our hearts. We hope you will look forward to playing the Star Name Yells. Photographs and the memories held within them tell a heartwarming story of love and understanding in this puzzle-driven narrative adventure. As young photographer Dave, okay. use your in-game camera to take pictures of the hand-drawn world around you, solving puzzles to help uncover the truth about your mother's absence. Okay, there we go. Overcome challenges to recreate old photographs and piece together the story. Use those snapshots to step back in time and shed new light on the moments when the pictures were taken. Discover the beauty of the star named Eos launching on Nintendo Switch next spring. Nice. Here's an oddly specific Another pixel question. Game. What if expertly packing a bag made you more powerful? Then each trip to the supermarket would make me a hero? Exactly! Though, in the case of this roguelike deck builder, the supermarket is a perilous dungeon full of enemies to battle, allies to encounter, and treasures to find. I still get to be a hero though, right? Yes! Bring back the loot you find in the dungeon to help rebuild your hometown. The locals will certainly consider you a hero. Excellent! Collect hundreds of items with incredible powers and abilities, and organize your backpack to unleash their full potential. Find potent oh. combinations and use each character's unique abilities to repel whatever enemies stand in your way. That's weird. Grab your magic backpack and prepare for some seriously fun inventory management in Backpack Hero, launching on Nintendo Switch later today. Cool. Welcome Rain. to Future Osaka, a dystopian oh. cyberpunk world where a group known as the Misa Association is charged with protecting the city from demon attacks. Uh. One member heads out on this deadly assignment, but things soon take an unexpected turn. In this 2D action game, you'll wield the powerful Luminosaur, a demon transformed into a deadly weapon. This blade not only cuts down foes, but can also interfere with time itself, restoring once destroyed stairs, bridges, and platforms to reach new areas. Can you cool. master control of your demon blade? Blade Chimera slashes onto Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive next spring. Nice. These hills are a wash with stories. Come to the sea by Beltane, he said. Oh, I love the voice. I'm doing it. I'm coming. I must be off my trolley. I must be off me trolley. I love that. Oh, that's cute. I can never bear the sea. I love that. I love the accent. I must be crackers. Hey, nice, good throw. Come to the lighthouse, Moira. Moira. Come as Moira. fast as you can. Cool, I love that. Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm co-founder of Inkle and the creative director of A Highland Song. And I'm Nat, lead level designer in the game. A Highland Song is all about how it feels to explore the mountains of Scotland. Scotland. And it's been directly ah, she's got the actual accent. The, the remote Scottish Highlands can be beautiful, but also harsh and unforgiving if you're not prepared. That balance is something we've tried to capture in the gameplay of a Highland song, from difficult climbs to fast-paced rhythm runs. We're excited huh. for you to immerse yourself in the landscape we've created. Cool. Get ready to head for the hills. We're going on a foot-tapping frolic through the Scottish Highlands. All roads lead to the ocean in this narrative platformer, and there are a lot of different roads to take. Scale the peaks and roam the valleys, uncovering hundreds of new paths and shortcuts cool. to reach the sea as fast as you can. The narrative builds and adapts based on the route you take, with the sights, sounds, and characters you encounter affecting the tale. Run, huh. jump, Climb and scramble your way to your goal with the sound of Scottish folk music scoring your journey. 
cool. A Highland song launches on the Nintendo Switch system December 5th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Explore 100 procedurally generated islands in this creature collecting, no dungeon thanks. crawling, deck building life sim. So basically all my favorites rolled into one? Yep. You'll aim to become a world-renowned alchemist by exploring islands in the sky, collecting over 60 adorable spirits in compelling Damn. card combat across this open world. Then, when you're ready to head home, a whole community awaits to help you unwind. Craft items, tend to your farm, brew potions, decorate your home, befriend the local villagers, and who knows, maybe you'll even fall in love. Live oh. your life however you choose in Moonstone Island, launching on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive next spring. A lot of exclusives. Hello,大家好,我们是双王把戏,Death Cool. Come on, come all! Morgan's traveling circus is in town! Unfortunately, their star magician Hattie has gone missing in this investigative visual novel. Uh... Enter an unlikely detective duo. One, <laughs> a fellow magician. The other, a private eye with an unfortunate bout of amnesia. What? <laughs> As they each investigate Hattie's disappearance, you'll need to combine each character's clues to figure out which suspects have been clowning around. With only a limited number of actions at your disposal, you'll need to carefully decide which leads to pursue, looking out for contradictions in the evidence you acquire. Sort through your collection of clues, get to know the stories of each whimsical character you encounter, and challenge anyone you find to be deceitful. The investigation begins when Death Trick Double Blind launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next year. A free demo will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Nice. Have I heard about this game? Oh, just... no. What is this? Their space game. Oof. Looks like you fly to different planets and stuff. That's a black hole. Outer Wilds Archaeologist Edition. Cool. Exploration is key to unraveling the mysteries of this peculiar solar system. This open world adventure has you scouring multiple planets in search of clues, strange signals, and ancient alien texts to decipher. But don't dawdle, the cool. solar system is trapped in a time loop, and each planet changes dramatically as you explore. Delve into okay. an underground city before it's swallowed by sand. Dodge sky-high cyclones, and explore a planet collapsing into the black hole at its core. Find Damn. the keys to unlock the secrets of the solar system in the most hidden and dangerous of places. Plus, unravel the deepest secret of them all in the included Echoes of the Eye expansion. 
Nice. Grab your cosmic hiking gear when Outer Wilds, Archaeologist Edition, touches down on Nintendo Switch December 7th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. A physical version will also be available next year. Cool. Well, Amber, it looks like our time's almost up. Almost. It is. But before we go, let's take a look at a few more indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, I forgot this is indie. This isn't... Oh, I was looking at this game. This game seemed of interest to me. It's a cool art style. Heavenly Bodies is coming to Switch. That's cool. I watched uh, I watched Smitty play that whole series or that whole game, uh, and that was that looked like a fun game. The Gecko Gods. <laughs> nice. everyone we hope you enjoyed the games featured in today's showcase a big thank you as ever to our indie community and partners working hard to bring their experiences to the nintendo switch system cool. follow our official indie world account to stay up to date on the latest news from yeah. indie world on X. thanks again for watching and as always happy, happy gaming. gaming thanks cool i thought this was a showcase i forgot it was indie <laughs> Uh, which is fine. It's cool. I am white. Holy shit. Um, yeah. Cool. Indie world. Awesome. <laughs> uh, there's actually some pretty cool games there. Um, don't know if I'd play any of them, but there were some that were obviously interesting. I think I'd play Heavenly Bodies on the PC. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I'm not gonna keep stalling. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.